and I'm showing up at my best friend's house, and they all live here, and I haven't seen them in a month. So, they really are the best. Play a little joke on them. Before Roman Atwood would have over 8 million subscribers and over a billion YouTube views, before he would collaborate with other YouTube legends including the Dudsons, Fousey Tube, and Prank vs. Prank, before his blowing up my kid, crazy plastic ball, and anniversary prank videos would go viral. Before he toilet paper rolled Howie Mandel's house with 4,000 rolls of TP. At the age of 16, young Roman, he nearly died when he got poisoned. He was given a 20% chance of survival. He pulled through, but he got more bad news when his teachers told him that he would go nowhere in life if he didn't go to college. But he wasn't interested in higher learning. What he wanted to do was make crazy videos. But then he got married at the age of 18 and had to get to work, so he got a job at his parents' rope factory. There he worked for 10 years, often in tears over his failure in life, not pursuing his dream. But after he found out that his wife had cheated on him, he went through some mourning, some grieving, and then reflected on his life and figured, what the hell, I'm gonna go after my dream, and he decided posting videos to a growing platform known as YouTube. My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life of Roman Atwood prior to fame, here for you and before they were famous. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Oh yeah, and FoosieTube, yeah, that'll be up in a couple hours. At this point, the police and the fire department are honestly trying to blame this on me. I mean, come on. Rowan Bernard Atwood was born on May 28, 1983 in Millersport, Ohio. To parents Curtis Dale Atwood and Susan Ann Crispin, the family own a rope factory known as Atwood Rope. Now growing up, Roman wasn't a model student. He actually had no interest in school whatsoever. He knew that all he wanted to do was go on and make silly videos. Those are his words. I love cameras. I love making videos. Stupid videos. Nobody wants to watch these videos. They're terrible. He didn't understand how history, geography, or science would play any role in his future career ambitions, but the counselors and the teachers, they told him that if he didn't go to college, well, he would have no future at all. And for some time, they were kind of right. He got married at the age of 18 to his high school sweetheart. Her name was Shanna Riley, and after three years, well, they had a son. His name was Noah. So Roman had to get a job following the wedding to support the family and began working at Atwood Rope, work that didn't exactly live up to his career expectations. Distracted with what I wanted to do, I used to actually tear up and cry at this factory because I wasn't making these videos. In his spare time, he would purchase video equipment and toy with his love of video production. But YouTube still didn't exist until 2005, and Roman wouldn't start using the platform until 2010 or 2011. He produced a series of DVDs called The Nerd Herd, which he sold at Warped Tour in 2006. He also worked on various film projects and commercials filmed in Columbus, Ohio. He finally got his big break, or so he thought, when he got the phone call to come on out to LA to work on a movie. But then when he got there, he realized it was low budget and the whole thing was a little crummy. He later found out that while he was away, well, his wife, she got kinky with another man. Apparently some guy who in the past had pooped on Roman's driveway. I don't know. Anyway, as soon as he found out this news, he was devastated. He divorced his wife and then he went through a rough patch of time. Despite all this, there was a silver lining at this time in his life. He met his now girlfriend, Brittany Smith. Through this grieving process, he decided the hell with it. He was going to go after his dream. And he started making comedy videos no matter what it took. He created a channel on YouTube known as Sketch Empire with his longtime pal, Chase Gilroy. He also got John Cormany, Dennis Rohde, Greg Painter, Jeff Williams involved. Now this is back in 2010 and some of these guys, he found them on Craigslist. So they got to work making funny videos, but they weren't getting a whole lot of views. We thought he'd take our name to the streets and see what people really think. What do you think of Sketch Empire? I think I got a notice about them in the mail, aren't they sex offenders? Nah, That's the racist motherfuckers. They racist as fuck. Just not creative, not funny. Every Tuesday for a year, Roman would post a video to the Sketch Empire YouTube channel. Some weeks he'd post two videos, all of them sketch comedy, and they weren't getting a whole lot of views. He decided to switch things up and instead do a prank video, and that's when Epic P Prank came out and it blew up. It's water. It's water. All right. Got a hole in here. See? All right. Uh, you see how somebody might think that's Pete. That video received 2 million views in its first week. Finally, Roman could afford to quit his job at the Rope Factory and focus full time on what he loved to do. Around this time, he also decided to start his own YouTube channel under the name Roman Atwood. 
and that's where you'd be watching him today. If there wasn't enough going on in his life at this time, well, him and Brittany, they also had a son. They named him Kane. With him no longer working at the rope factory, having two boys and a girlfriend to support, well, he decided he would have to double down his efforts. On his own channel, he would do drunk time lapse videos where he barfed. He would continue with his comedy sketches with his pals, and Britney would pop in from time to time to add some sex appeal. Get over here, baby. Let me have some of that. Baby, the hair, baby. Soon he started finding success on Roman Atwood and it would become his priority. Eventually all the sketch empire sketches, well they'd end up on Roman Atwood's site. He hit the 1 million video view mark on May 21st, 2012 and then on April 14th, 2013 he hit the 1 million subscriber mark. Finding so much success, he kept reinvesting into his company. He also set up a vlog channel, began collaborating with other YouTubers, and well, the rest of the story, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrud. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a whole bunch of YouTubers like Epic Mealtime, Smosh, Epic Rap Battles of History, Timothy Della Ghetto, Gigi Gorgeous, the list goes on and on. So be sure to subscribe, check out my other videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. And FouseyTube, it's on its way.